So it's striking. Um, Professor Alan Rosen's published work, for instance, that shows that um, the quality of recovery for people with schizophrenia is inversely related to the level of psychiatric services you have. In other words, you get better quicker in places with less psychiatric services. We have in the UK a lot of political attention to the problem of mental illness, but actually our sense of what it takes to help people flourish spiritually and mentally seems to be very fragile and poor. Uh, there still seems to be a largely unchallenged assumption that these kind of psychiatric, institutional, clinical services are the answer for what are actually fundamentally human problems. What do you think? I think that we have very significant and deeply rooted problems with the way in which we're delivering mental health services. And that is because we have attempted to proceduralize and depersonalize them because of our attempt to industrialize all of healthcare and then even worse to try to commercialize it. And all of these things lead to a depersonalization of care. It takes away from the fundamentals of pastoral health care, which is about personal continuity of care with the personal, the very personal understandings that grow from that. And we've instead attempted to come up with one size fits all solutions. Um, and again, the language of psychiatry and mental health has become more and more like that of the language for physical health, structural illness. And I think that very often that is not a helpful model. We need a different kind of thinking, a different kind of language, a different kind of personal encounter from that of the surgical clinic or the cardiology clinic.